Palo Alto High School with me, guys. Welcome. You had quite a successful season last year. What have you been working on to make it even better this season? Uh, well, a lot of rebuilding, actually. We lost nine starters from last year and our two starting pitchers. But our group this year has had very good leadership. Uh, some of the younger guys coming up have progressed a little faster than we expected, which is good. So really just kind of back to basics, uh, getting in our game plan of what we want to go into in the season, and hopefully a couple guys will step up. So what are some goals for this season? We always say a league title. <laughs> that's, that's what we've always said first. Um, then you worry about CCS after that. But you got to go in, in steps. That's always been our goal since we've been there. You know, this year could be a little bit tougher than others, but I still don't believe that it's it's not out of our reach. It's not a matter of if it's the most talented team that wins, but if the right team wins, and if our guys can execute and do things that they're supposed to do, I, I have no doubt that we can we can do that. And guys, what have you been working on in the off season? Um, a lot of just I don't know CrossFit training with uh, Coach Dick Held, who does a really good job of preparing us for the season. Um, lots of stretching, throwing. Nothing too strenuous, just getting our heart, heart rate up before the season starts. So, okay. And what's a personal goal for you for this season? Um, get out healthy, win a couple games, and um, come out confident and build for next year. I think it's the key thing. Now, are you a senior? I'm a senior, yeah. So how are you helping the underclassmen of the year? How am I what? How are you helping the younger players? Um, how am I helping them? Uh... I don't know. I'm not necessarily the most like vocal player. I just kind of show. I guess I help by like showing them how to do it the right way, and maybe getting on, getting on them for not you know making mistakes. But mostly just being positive and getting them to do their best. So. And has it been difficult losing so many players for you? Um. Yeah. I mean, I lost a couple of friends, but honestly, this team we were together as sophomores. We did really well. So I think we have some good team chemistry, and it's pretty fun. So. And who's uh, a team that you're wary of this season? Um, I don't really like Wilcox too much, so <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm hoping we can beat them both times. Uh -huh. And what about you? What team do they need to look out for? Um, Wilcox is always good. Saratoga is pretty loaded this year. Um, Homestead's got some players that are, are very good, so um, I think top to bottom, at least, going to be pretty good this year. I mean, everybody's going to compete for something, I think. Okay. I want to quickly talk about um, turf fields and how it affects. Um, the game, what are some advantages, disadvantages? I mean, I'm not a big turf fan guy, but with the area that we live in and how condensed our schedule is, it's almost a necessity to have it because it cuts out on the rainout games that we have. So when we got our new field, I, I really didn't want turf, but I said, you know, we're going to save a lot of games and not get backed up. By having them, I think the hardest part is transitioning from a turf field to a dirt field. Um, we are lucky; we have a field that's about five five minutes away, so we'll utilize that sometimes if we play a team that has a grass and dirt field to prepare, which has been huge for us the last couple of years. Because I saw that when we first got our new field, that it was an issue, and you know, it's just a quick drive over to that field, get our ground ball work in then head back over so it's it's very easy it'd be ideal to have if you could have a dirt field and a turf field to practice on um, but it's high school ball so what can you expect <laughs> and what do you prefer playing on dirt or turf um I always used to play on dirt but now that I've been playing on turf at Pally for a couple of years I actually like turf a lot more it's you know you get perfect hops and it's a lot easier to not make mistakes so probably turf and let me ask what's been the most memorable moment with this team for you um, it was my first year here, so I'm um, getting all the paperwork done, <laughs> clearing the fingerprints. Uh, just kidding. Um, <clears throat> just looking forward to coaching these guys. I coach a lot of them during the summertime, so it'll be nice to get them in a high school environment as well. Okay. And who do you think we need to look out for um, within your team? What player? Um, probably this guy, Michael. Pretty good shortstop, well-rounded. Uh, we got a pretty good lefty pitcher, Danny Ehrlich, who I think if he can uh, control his stuff, he'd be pretty hard to beat. So. Well, good luck for the season, guys. Thanks for your time. Thank you.